Yo. 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 We've been doing this for one year and we instantly realized you we also have to watch Flame Talking. Walker uh, Walker You should trust the Daryl Sutter process. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Puckin' Stuff Podcast. What? Riz edition. Woo, that was cringe. Anyways, guys, how you guys doing today? It is Flames Talk with your boy T-Dog and B-Dog. How you doing today, good sir? I'm doing, well, I'm doing all right, especially with this team. It's kind of weird, but I'm okay. We won today. You you know, I had opinions before this game. And after this game, I have opinions, so I guess we'll talk about them. Is, okay. is that how this works? Well, let's get right into it. The team has been playing fantastic. You know, we are 7-0-1. Um, oh, is that Vegas? Is this the... Do we still have Kachuk and Gaudreau season? No, no, this is like the series where Eichel came to our team because of the trade, and we also had Mark Stone, oh. and... We got Stan Coven from that draft because we didn't, and Noah Dobson and Adam Fox stayed, and Kachuk and Gaudreau signed their their contract renewals. Correct. The the actual good long term deals, not the one we have now. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Right. Cool. So seven zero wow. and one. We've doing, been doing pretty good, and um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I th- I think we could go all the way this year, guys. What do you think? I mean, I would. Damn, man. I really love that was how it is. But sadly, boys, we got to look <laughs> into reality. Tricked ya. Tricked ya. You suck. <laughs> you we're getting, suck. we're, suck weenie for Celebrini. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening. That is, well, San Jose is 0-10. And, and they have won again. Yeah. So we <laughs> might not get Celebrini, but. No, Cole Eiserman's a good left winger, so I'll, I'll take him. He's looking like potential flame. Not a bad, yeah, not, not uh, I just remember oh. look good. Yeah. On the back of a. Okay. So, okay. Let's realistically just kind of break down what's going on with this team. This team as of right now is three, seven and one. We just came off of a six game losing streak. We won today against the Seattle Kraken, which makes me kind of mad because I bet money on cra- the crack of winning. But sadly for once Calgary realized I was betting money and said, Haha, we're going to play in the third period. So you should start betting on Huberto not scoring points. Ooh. And then he'll score points. That'd be great. Yeah, but we live in harsh times. I can't just give up money like that. Frick. <laughs> inflation. Infl- 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 inflation doesn't help this at all, guys. No, it's going to. So basically how you're living. If you are a person that lives in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, you're kind of suffering for the next few years because a inflation in our economy situation, <laughs> and there could be the potential this team sucks for the next three to four years. So, just in time for the new arena, baby. Oh Let's go. yeah, but no, realistically, how do you feel about this team, man? Like, I need I need something to go off of here. I don't know how to start this because, like, okay, where do you start? Like, I will let. Can I go on my tangent? Yeah, go ahead. I'll Missy, floor is yours. All right, my, oh my goodness. You know, this team sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna I think say we established it. that. Can, can, can we just like end it? Like, just like go home now or what? Okay, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. <laughs> okay. Oh God, okay. So, um, here's the thing. You, this, take it back to... The Rangers lost. Okay. <clears throat> that team, where's the passion? There's no passion. Terrible defensive style play. And I don't mean just the defense. I mean, like, just back checking everything. Neutral zone turnovers, like, you're just, it's like it's a charity case. No one scoring, no effort. Where was it? There was nothing. The best line we had was the backland line, right? And that is your third line. That is not supposed to be your best line. And, and, you know, and, and Huberto, or not Huberto, sorry. He's, I guess he's always... <laughs> oh, I Huberto. Say <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it's how it is right now. But uh, Markstrom, right, I think he's been playing fine. Left in, he's let in a few softies. But, I mean, he's not the problem, man. I mean, the dude's 
they're kind of putting the team on his back. He doesn't deserve the win loss and the save percentage that he has. I mean, it's it's not his fault. Um, you do that, <clears throat> he has some it's just some some losses, man. That, that just that don't look good. It's, you know, St. Louis, um, the Rangers. You know, the fans are booing. The um, the the crowds in the dome is dead. Just not a good sight. Um, and then you know you think maybe okay the Heritage Classic. Let's see what we can do. You lose to the Oilers, right? Five two. You know, in their That's... own barn in Commonwealth Stadium. Oilers fans are going at you, and at that point, you know, like, dude, this isn't good. Like. There's no playoffs in, in mind, right? I mean, we already know that knew this, but that kind of to me confirms it. And then what do we do? We call it Carnazari. <clears throat> Dallas game. That happens. We don't win the game, but we look better. And that a game like that shows you're on the cusp of getting a win because you're almost there. Just a few things haven't happened. You call it Zari, scores a goal. Looks phenomenal. By the way, Seattle game, he would I heard his name a lot. Uh, he has um, he's, he's he's played well. He's played well. Um, that goal is pretty. Or his goal is there's a good garbage goal, but he you saw that deke, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 that that was pilot real potential. True. So you have that, um, and that you know that sparks something, right? You know, listening to the radio after the game, most people have some sort of positive in an odd way, like we lost, but it was like, well, no, we know we need to rebuild. Uh, We love getting youth on the team, which is what we've been asking for because the youth is giving the team motivation. Look at Kadri. Now that he has Zarya on his line, the dude actually plays with with heart, some hustle, and it's good. A little bit. And then <clears throat> the Seattle game, you bring up Prospisol. You send Coronado down, who, by the way, scores the only goal in the game against Barracuda and already looks phenomenal. So he'll be back in January. Don't worry. He just needs to be playing actual good hockey. Yeah. Or not. He, he needs to go down. You know, it, it's it's not good to be around a losing culture when you're trying to, to develop. And I think that affects a lot of players. Hence, you put him down. But you bring up Prospisol. He scores a goal against the Seattle team. And the, the team played better. The, the, the team did play much better, <clears throat> um, but Ladar looked well. But ultimately, as great as this win feels, like this is the same thing, man. Like just it, don't think about trying to make playoffs. Rebound. Well, yeah, you definitely threw that out the window, especially with my hopes for this team. That's for sure. Yeah, base. Because obviously you didn't have them making playoffs and I did. I am making a wild card because I was still hopeful for this team. Yeah, I threw that out the window pretty f- quick. I think it was after <laughs> like game five. I think it was game five. I chucked all Flames hope out the window. But you know what I brought in with it? The idea of a rebuild. And honestly, I like that. I, I do kind of like that idea because, well, our, the one thing I would say our problem with in Calgary is our owner obviously wanted to try to make this team work and honestly sell the team paper on if two seasons ago on sell the team yeah oh my god sell the team team please please no but what I was realistically trying to get with this was I feel like most of the organization has kind of realized it is time to sink the boat sink the boat you, I think it realistically, after you what you have seen in these last few games, it is time to sink the boat and rebuild it. Basically, simply enough. But if you're an owner in this situation and you look back two seasons ago, this team looked like a contender. Jonathan Huberto, just off of a 115 point season, comes to Calgary. He sucks. He's he, it's not even like he sucks. He just lost that elite ability, and now we've watched him for almost a season and a bit now and a quarter. And it just, nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. He's not going back to that, which sucks because we pay him so much. Kadri, he just came off of the Stanley Cup winning team. He produced like 60 points. Came to Calgary, saw flashes of his aggressiveness, but it just, it's not the same Kadri anymore. And we have him by seven by seven. And Jacob Markstrom, uh, Vesna finalist two seasons ago. Sadly, he lost his edge last year. But do I blame it on him? No, he's performed. He's one of the best 
performing flames right now on the team. One thing I will say is a positive that you even mentioned is we're finally bringing up the young guys. Does it hurt with Coronado going down to the league? Just a little bit, but if you giving if you give him time to go in the AHL and just dominate, that'll bring his confidence back and his game back a little bit more because I think after he scored his first goal, you noticed it was kind of like he's kind of losing it a little bit as a rookie. So sending him down didn't hurt, in my opinion. And then you brought up Car- Connor Zari. He <coughs> scored his first NHL goal in three shifts, and he's just always on the puck, hustle. And uh, sorry, he's an aggressive player. And I think, like you said, Kadri kind of noticed that and even brought his game up a little bit. But realistically, with this team now, on paper, two seasons ago, they looked great, but they're not playing to the expectation you want them to, and you might have to start shipping guys soon. I don't really think Calgary should even look at the idea of signing Hannafin or Lidholm long-term. No, I think that that idea is gone after five games, and if something doesn't turn around, they're gone. Get picked. Well, Get assets. You'll be happy to know that uh, the contract negotiations have been put on hold. How uh, that's what uh, the news was saying. So, well, I agree. I mean, why? Like, Lindholm doesn't even look like he's having fun out there. I mean, Hannafin too. Like, I think you can get good value out of him because I mean, I think any contending team would want a defenseman like that. Really solidify your top four. But ultimately, what kind of sucks? And poor Conroy, man, never has the leverage, but. Right now, like all the people you would put on the trade block, their value has never been lower. I Damn. guess is what I'm trying to say, right? And yeah. oh, that's it's. I just hope you can get a few first rounds. This is what I'm thinking. Went home to Columbus, you know, Kent Johnson, Cole Sillinger, so we can you know reunite with Tate McRae. It's it'd work out perfectly. Honestly, I think Kent Johnson also kind of wants out too because uh, yeah, he's been a healthy like scratch it. for the last few games. Yeah, we get sent down, I think, too, right? But uh, I think Trinikov got uh, called up or something. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. Johnson hasn't played the best, but I mean, his potential ceiling is there. Oh, and yeah. I think he just needs to actually play some games. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know where Hannafin would go. I mean... A team uh... that needs a defenseman, which probably every team would like a defenseman like Hannafin. I just want first-round picks. I, I do too, but I think, again, this is such a weird team this year. Again, just, it's not working. Even, Excuse sadly me. enough, you did make the switch over to Huska from Sutter. And obviously, we all knew, well, you and I kind of knew Sutter wasn't really the problem. We thought it was yeah. kind of bizarre that he was yeah. kicked out so quick. But again, you brought Huska in, you brought Conroy in, and it proved it wasn't the... Well, it could be a coaching situation, but I think there's something in that locker room that is causing this issue of not winning in Calgary. And it's, I think, driving you and I absolute bonkers right now, especially me, where I came into the season with a little bit of hope and you didn't at all. So you saved yourself. I'm freaking losing my crap. (laughs) over this. And I think when you look at it, we're, I think, 30th or 31st in the whole league, which means our odds on a draft pick is pretty good. Pretty, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, Cole Eisman would look good in, in uh, red, yellow, and white, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think so too. I, I, I would love a top three pick. I think that's what I'm kind of, if we're playing like this every game, I would <laughs> sit there and also be like, well, we're losing, but we get a top three pick potentially if we suck this bad. No, I just find it amazing to really grasp the fact we've never picked top three. Yeah, we've I had know. some terrible Flames teams. Like, like, Dude, the 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 nineties flames were terrible. It was bad. Yeah, how did we never get? I mean, like you know, we got Iggy, so it all it doesn't matter. But like, uh, that was it's crazy. Side. It's it, all Craig Button's fault. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh my god. No, but, but so that'd be nice to like have something like that happen. Because here's the thing: this is why I wanted the read tools us rebuild because. I knew even if we made playoffs, think about it. How realistically far would we go? Are we gonna beat Vegas? No. Like this season? No. no. Not even <clears throat> five games. <clears throat> it actually probably be four, but I'll say five because I'm nice. Hmm. We 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 couldn't compete, not at all. So like the problem is like 
you can tell the way the team plays. The team itself doesn't even feel like they have a direction. No. And I just, I hope that the direction that the management wants it is in good faith and not what Mr. Selvatine Murray Edwards wants just so he can have a few more revenue streams coming in during playoff games. I mean, you rebuild the team in time for the new arena and they start winning games and they go on um, playoff runs. You'll be making a lot more revenue through that, buddy. Just saying. I mean, that's even the Sacrifice thing that... Sacrifice now for the future. That's even the thing that I've kind of like thought about with this idea of our team sucking right now. And if you're the owner and you still want this team to be competitive... What? Why? What's your ambition towards this? Because A, you realize by now that the team is not working. And that, that sucks for us because we're watching it. But this gives you an opportunity to rebuild before you have a brand spanking new arena. And also, once you basically are deal, like once the shovels are in the ground for the new arena, you know you're not losing the team. So why not just take advantage of the next three seasons before you get into your new arena? to rebuild the team and retool it because obviously this isn't working. This just isn't working with this team. So yeah. you have to change it. You have to re like, I know this owner hates the idea of a rebuild. We figured that out pretty quick in the off season when he got asked about it and he shut it down as quick as he could, but you know, you're not losing the team here. You know, most of your fan base wants this, you know, probably part of your management wants this. Why don't you? You've seen it 10 games that this team doesn't work. Again, this like take the next two to three seasons here, fix your team, let your young guys get used to playing in the NHL and give them minutes because this is your best opportunity for Zari to develop here, Matt Coronado to develop, Pelche to develop. Hell, if you trade one of our goalies and get Wolf in there, he'll give that chance of development. And then you'll draft great players to play with them. And that's how you should retool and rebuild it. But it's unbelievable to me that he doesn't see it yet. Oh, this team makes me mad. Oh, goodness. Well, well said, man. Sorry, Ugh. my dog is just coming through the, the thing here. Oh, doggy again? But, but uh, dude, well said, man. Oh, I see. That's uh, everything. Everything you said, man, was that was true. Like, uh, it's oh my God. <laughs> just temporary pain for, for long-term gain. That's how I see it, right? I mean. I agree. If we rebuilt after that Colorado sweep or retooled, it'd be more of a retool. Yeah, it would be. We'd probably be in a better position. We really would. I mean, mean, do you keep players like Lindholm for that? Maybe not, but you might have better players. Maybe something like that would make some players more welcome to come here or more desirable, like make the city more desirable to be a place to play. I don't know. It's... They were, I mean, just, they were always in the middle, man. The middle pack. The middle pack is such a terrible place to be in because you think in your head, you're like, and you had that one good season, and <clears throat> you think you're almost there, but that one good season messes you up. How many teams can we name off the top of our head that had a really good season and then, you know, that really did them well, and then as soon as the next season happens, you realize that actually messed them up, right? Wow. I mean, the Flames are a good example with that 2014-2015. Like, honestly, like, they should not... If they didn't make playoffs, things would have changed. I mean, true. But at the same time, if you really think about it, and <laughs> I'm I'm not going to lie, I thought it was kind of ballsy to say three to four years ago because obviously you had Gaudreau and Kachuk. They were basically entering... Gaudreau yeah, was hitting prime. And of course, you know, back then, it made, you know, most people wouldn't say it, but I mean, now it makes sense. Uh, yes, but I guess, I, think, I guess, but that's the thing is I'm thinking because I already know the the circumstances of the other seasons. True, but I feel like in that situation, you looked at the team, it was probably the best they've been realistically since 20, 2004. Uh, they, who mm, knows fair. if we were realistically, if we, I feel like if we went to tanking, there would have been more chance we lose the team because we were basically begging for a new arena deal still at that time. And the team was yeah. producing enough to still be a contender. But as soon, I think as soon I, now I realize that after the Oilers series and we lost against McDavid, I think that is when now it's time to turn the table. But again, we have Brad Tree living and he wanted the team to still be competitive. And we got rid of Kachuk and got Huberto and Uyghur and we lost Gaudreau 
And we were trying to still turn the tide of being a contender, but I think after this season, now it's I'm I'm committed to being a rebuilding team. I've well, just committed to it. Do you want to hear something a potential rumor that might anger you a little bit? Oh shoot. Apparently for the Kachuk trade, he had two package options. One was for veterans, the Huberto one, and one was for like youth and picks. Ooh. And apparently and again, <clears throat> these are rumors, I don't know how true it is. But if rumors are true, then he they picked the veteran because of or higher up wanting yep. to go with that. And oh man, I mean, oh my goodness! That and then hurts. of course, Tree Living leaves as soon as he realized. I mean, Tree Living probably saw this coming a mile away. I mean, yeah, that's you know, probably why I, I, I wonder. Out. You think about it like this: Lucic is gone. I think losing glue guys like that in the locker room for chemistry really does affect it. Even though he's like an absolute, like he's not a good player anymore. <laughs> True. I think he still need the players like that, like to make the team and keep the team morale up when times are tough. But I yeah. don't think the Flames have that right now. It's uh, they just seem, they just don't seem connected. <clears throat> Got to play like a team, man. It's a team sport. Yeah, but this team <laughs> just it hasn't shown it. It just hasn't shown it this season. Like, I no, mean, congrats, you. You beat Seattle. Congrats. I mean, God. you mean you beat Philip Grubauer. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Which isn't that hard to beat. <laughs> I mean, that's like, like um... and you still struggled in that game too. I watched the first period. You struggled. That's why I freaking bet on you to lose. Oh God. You know, I'm angry. I'm angry. I think this team could take a game note from Zach Wilson. Oh yeah, and, and I say that just because why not? <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> let me let me see if I can just make this into an actual inspiring quote. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes they won't pick you first, but sometimes you just um, I give up. I was trying trying to get the whole like mom thing in there. I I, I don't know, bro. I mean, I I don't know. It, it didn't work. My apologies. Only once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I bang your mom. There we go. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, Zach Wilson, you absolute milf hunter. Damn. No, Dude. but again, this team is so, I feel like for the last two seasons, well, first season of Flames Talk, we talked about them being contenders, and that was really fun to talk about. But last season, there was still that drama to talk about, right? Because it's like, oh, this team could be a contender. It has the pieces. It could work, but it never did. But now we're entering a season where, damn, this team legit sucks. Like, nothing truly good on this team, yeah. except, like, there's those small parts, the smallest parts that are like, oh, it looks impressive. But, dude, I'm getting tired of talking about this team and the only good thing on it is either a goalie that is still technically letting in butterflies or we're talking about how the fourth line is the best f-ing line on this team like that's <laughs> unbelievable man I, two seasons yeah. of this sh- like two yeah, seasons, aj like, greer hey, was good the- Ryan hunt was good it's like well i'm glad they were good like but why yeah, i'm glad that they play well like i'm glad that they're on the team but like they're your best players yeah why or- the is the guy we're paying are, are and the you, seven mil for not doing well kidding me? dude like i've been defending you like huberto bro the entire time i i, I can't anymore no, it's i not. legit can't i like i get everybody like anyone i talk to like of ho- some hockey thing like they they always mention huberto yeah you no know, i'm a flames fan right like oh, God. And it's like bro i, I can't defend it I, I was the whole time <clears throat> but with our the sample size we have the sample size it's it's not working man um he's someone mentioned this and it's true like um it'd be great to get Pelche back asap because um huberto pl- has his best tenure with the flames was when he played with Pelche. so that'd be nice to have it's just hopefully hard. soon but but ultimately the one thing that they are doing right is bringing up youth and I hope they keep doing it. It's yeah. uh, sparking energy and and drive in the team. And look, got you a win. And y- y- you were close to a win in Dallas. <clears throat> I guess 
that's you play competitive. You play better. That's how low we. That's how lower morale is with this team. Is the fact that we're like, woohoo! You almost won my game. <laughs> Con- Connor Zari got his first NHL goal, but we still lost. So there's still something at least to be happy about. Like, oh, it's well, same with Pos- Pospisil too, <laughs> right? This team, God, but, this yeah. hurts. Dude, just, just imagine the Markstrom right now playing like this last season. We <laughs> actually, it would be even worse because we would have made the playoffs. We would have got five game by Vegas, and we'd be in the same situation. Yep. <laughs> we would. Middle we'd of probably... the pack, mediocrity. Gotta love it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's so it's cool. a never ending cycle. It, it's literal purgatory. You know, I played enough Mob of the Dead on Black Ops Two to know that purgatory sucks, bro. Well, Mob of the Dead was a good map, but you know the moral of the story is um, don't do the same stuff and be insane about it because it ain't gonna change anything. No, nope. but maybe that's the plan. What a fuck sell the team, Murray Edwards, damn. please, please just sell the team, bro. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> like I don't know, I something's got to change, right? In, in that sense, but I think what we can take from this entire conversation, dude, like it's rebuild time. Like, why would why wouldn't you? You know, even if you made the playoffs, that you wouldn't even be closer to a contender for the conference final, let alone a Stanley Cup final. Um, rebuild, man. It's it's time. You have pieces. Like, it just build a team around Wolfie. It things amazing things could happen. It really <clears> could. <throat> I really do think if you just take the time and look at what you got, young guns you truly have in Peltier, Coronado, Zachary, Dustin Wolf. And Poirier even from the our defenseman prospect from the minors and just like Slovy I've looked good too. Yeah, like I mean, build off of that. I really think this team should really start building off of those guys. And yeah, just screw it. Your team already sucks. Why not just one year just tank? At Dude, least like, get a top I, three. Pick. I am I am completely okay with going like two and eighty. Yeah. I, I seriously like I, Actually, I, I think it would okay be with three that. and seventy nine if I'm or correct. something like that. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm okay with losing. I did like it's time. Okay. Time to rebuild. Get at it. Yep. And I think this is how we'll end off this episode of Flames <clears throat> Talk with maybe it's time to use the R word. Maybe it's time to use the R word. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, leave a like, <laughs> leave a comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Shit, I can't do it. Wait, okay. If you guys did enjoy this again, leave a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe. We love the support you guys give. We love the flames, we promise. But this is just a tough year. But T-Dog, we'll wrap this up. Thanks, guys. Like B-Dog said, thanks so much for watching, listening, however you're consuming this content. If you liked it, thumbs up, comment down below. Okay, guys, all I can say is go, go flames, go. But uh Let's go get that uh, tank for uh, Cole Azure. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Peace. Peace.